What do you got there? Studs, clutching. Let's get some shit done today. Another new truck. Junk robber. That's four trucks. Four trucks in one year. Anything else in the back? Um, in my Look at that. Hangard, clutch. Yes, yeah, so we got the uh, sled all dialed up here. Everything's ready to grow. Big man's cleaning up, racing his life. Got that right. Got that right. We got our stud boys in. Shout out to Stud Boy Traction. Almost ready. Practice buggy is almost ready. <laughs> nice new snow flap rule. Here's your snow flap, fucking Alex. Yeah, we're gonna have to invest in a break to put in the trailer now to make snow flaps. Yeah, or carry six snow flaps ready to go for the new rule. Figuring out wrap ideas to run. All black. I really liked... Uh, I'm telling him we should run this black cover on yeah, the tank. Yeah, I liked Cody's sled last year. All, all black, the Henshaw sleds were sick. But now all of the Valley sleds are black. Yeah, so what to do now? Yellow. Um, should do an orange sled, eh, Alex? <laughs> yeah, busy making the stupid snow flat. Racer view. So fire's easy now, right? Yeah, check it out. Wow, first pull. Boop, boop. Maybe, maybe set this GoPro up right on the bar pad just like this. Couple hail clickers and shit. What do you think, Christoph? Kind of should we leave Isla Valley and do should a fucking? Should put it somewhere here. Or put it somewhere. Oh, there's the big stick off the helmet. Fucking put this bitch right here. You guys can look at me while I'm starting yelling at all the sport riders. Get out of my way, you squid! Yeah. <laughs> Get out of my way, you fucking squid! Tightening hand guards already. What are you measuring, Johnny Carpenter? This one's out an inch. Out a full inch. Look at you elbows deep, you grease monkey. You get in here, you got smaller hands. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Undo these jab nuts. Okay, let me in there. You have, have you? Yeah. Colby, what you got fucking going on I here? I have no idea. <laughs> Brings me a recoil to do. <laughs> Not what I want to be doing. Shit. <laughs> That thing's a fucking mess. Look at you guys. <laughs> Unreal. Thought you guys were busy. Busy drinking. <laughs> Look at this. You see what you fucking do to him? Are you guys done yet? No. How many beers are gonna crush here? I got a brand new one in the trailer. Yeah. Your hands are blacker than Toby's ass. You got it all over your face, dude. Better not. <laughs> Any more beer job is this? Three and or. I'm gonna go inside and have one of your old man right away. How many left in that fridge? None. Better get some on ice then. Riley, what do you got going on there? Oh, I can't tell you. Oh. <laughs> just for you. So I'm just currently sitting in a hotel in Bloomington. Waiting to get on my flight tomorrow. I'm flying home to Thunder Bay to grab the rig because no one else can drive it across the border. So I got to go home and get it. So I'm flying from Mini to Chicago. Uh, Chicago to Toronto and then Toronto to Thunder Bay. So I'll get into Thunder Bay tomorrow around 4.20 in the afternoon. And then I'm going to stay there at night and Sunday morning I'm heading back down here with the truck and trailer. Uh, Kenny and Connor are coming next Thursday, so countdown's on now. 
getting closer now we just need some snow you never know who you get at customs could be good could be bad hopefully everything's smooth sailing no shit show or anything i mean we'll go from there american side said it was okay to do what we're doing here um they said i have the credentials to be in each country because i have a work visa so i'm legally allowed to cross the border land air sea whatever which way um like i said though kenny and connor they got to fly down so once they fly down they're basically staying down here uh, i'm not sure if we'll post the vlog before they get down here but probably be after made it through airport security got padded down great start to the day <laughs> what's going on so i got in last night um got the trailer here just getting ready to hit the road it's new rig for the year see how i'm hitting the road Get the rig and everything across the border. The boys are flying in on Thursday this week, so I'll pick them up from the airport and it's time to start riding. Hey, we're going racing, baby. Tires are gonna be well. I figured since the truck is gonna be sitting for uh, three months, they can afford a couple donuts. <laughs> we, we put a table in there. Too. What are you doing, man? I need a fridge for my rack. That's my fridge. <laughs> what? It sounds like there's beer in there. That's my fridge. Well, it's gonna work good for me. <laughs> so I just got across the border. I'm currently driving. Minnesota we made her boys uh, guy at customs didn't say much he uh, he just asked is this, this your home away from home and I'm like well no I got a place to stay this is just a race trailer good he just asked questions I answered them all and yeah we're down here with the trailer so just to fill everyone in I know I went over it a little bit but Kenny and Connor can't drive down with the current COVID border restrictions but they can fly down so they can't get the trailer down at all so they got a shipping quote and it was like two grand or 2500 just to get it shipped to the border so like literally 25 miles down the road so we had a plan like i could drive to the border and get it and instead of the shipping company i could just like meet kenny and them at the border and grab it because i'm allowed to drive across the border because i have work visa but connor's dad said why are we messing around that? let's just fly you home so that's why i flew home yesterday um not at all safe for covid wise though like i had to go through Flew out of Minneapolis to Chicago, then Toronto, and then home. So I mean, like Minneapolis, Chicago, and Toronto. COVID's definitely roaming those airports. So I don't know how at all this is safer, but this is the way that you have to do it to make it legal. So they flew me home yesterday and I got the rig this morning and here we are, we're in the States now with it. So I had basically, cause I have a visa, I'm allowed to be in both countries and cross the land crossing. Of course, the first time I take the rig out, it's a fucking snowstorm. See if anything moved around. Well, all good in here. Imagine that nothing moved. Toolbox is fine. Huh. One up to the airport. About to pick the boys up. Let's see what happens. See what they figure. Sitting in the fucking airport of Thunder Bay here. What do you got going on here already? It's like 5.30 in the morning. Finally heading out. Uh, I gotta fly, catch a flight to Toronto first. Start to our new journey here. Let's go. Let's go. First flight's fucking Fuck. delayed. Shit. Another hour, another hour in the first airport. Flight's delayed, of course. <laughs> never, uh, of course. never fails. What did you call it? It's a piss <laughs> All right, finally getting on the fucking plane. Oh, I gotta remember. I gotta watch my language on these things all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Still in Canada. She's cold here. Hello. Here you go, sir. Thank you. Gotta defect some stuff. Connor's carry on is big, way too big, man. <laughs> way too big. Barely fits up there. Oh, uh, just jammed yeah, we in. Got we got her up there. We got her up there. Buddy's got this 100 pound carry on bag. <laughs> he can't even fucking carry it. Idiot. 
All right, we just landed in Toronto. We're uh, gonna plane to Detroit next. And uh, we'll see you guys in Minneapolis around three o'clock. Nice fucking shoes, man. Wheeled her right in for the last Tim Hortons of the of the winter. Yeah. Gabby Kelso for a cup of Joe. <laughs> last cup of 2020. Sitting here waiting for the plane to Detroit now. Watching Day in the Life of Twitch. Buddy's gaming oh. in the airport. <laughs> <laughs> Little reflex action. To Detroit, have fun in Canada. <laughs> we off to the States, boy. Oh, she gonna go? I think she's gonna fit up there. <laughs> I don't know. We got mine up there. <laughs> so bored. Nothing to do on the plane except this guy. <laughs> oh, oh, our battery's running low. Oh, your battery's running low. Today. As we prepare for landing, please make sure that your seatbelt is fastened. Your seat back and trace people are in their upright and locked position. Oh, Windows in the exit row and seat 1A are unobstructed and aisle arm. So we're still up in the air. It's uh, one. It's 10 after 1 right now. Yeah. And uh, we got a fucking board in seven minutes. We got a board in, in seven minutes and we're uh, still in the air. We're still in the air. We're going to be mixing gas and hauling ass when we get to the ground, that's for sure. Front to the fucking airport. Last boarding call across me across the fucking mile. So, I'm right out of breath. Ran probably three miles across this fucking Detroit airport. Connor's way back. He can't run because his leg's sore. We made it. We made it. We made it, dude. After 12 hours of traveling, we finally made it to Minneapolis. Let's go. We're here, baby. We're here. Just waiting for Kristoff now. Kristoff's gonna come get us, having a little water. Got the air traffic controller. There, cluster jam. Give him a wave. Oh yeah, Kristoff! Christoph! Can you find Neil out there? Get him here, get on the horn. Let's go, Christoph! Yeah. Big Dooley guy! Yeah. Big Dooley guy! Oh, What's up, baby? What's up? Hey, this Christoph! Shit oh, here. shit! We got the air traffic controller just screaming at people over here. Where'd she go? Good day at work, Christoph. You got everything out of here? Yeah, yeah we're good. good. We're going to the track. See you in a few hours. See you later. Don't hit nothing on the way out. You either, than Denali. Let's go. Little propane action. They're going to have the road to earn. So this, it has to get rung up way different than what you paid for in there. Oh, okay. okay. That's fine. No problem. That's all good. As long as we can get propane for the old girl. Jimmy! Got our Jenny gas full? Alright, so we're on our way to, to Jansen's house right now. We're gonna go unload some of our clothes. That's where we're gonna be staying for the winter, most likely. Um, then we're gonna make our way over to ERX for the first day. They open at one. We're gonna go put some laps in today, get a feel back on the sled for the for the first day. So this is home for the next three months. <laughs> Jansen's house, dilly dilly. This is Just waiting for him to get here. Dilly dilly. Hello, what up? Hey brother, up, how's it going? Ready for some fun? Let's go. <laughs> Dilly's really hooking us up this year. He gave us a garage to work in whenever we need. We gotta work on stuff, wash it, whatever we gotta do, maintenance. It's uh, it's all it's all there. This is like a dream come true for us. Yeah. 